Welcome to Salient Systems user training videos. In this segment, you'll learn about the export queue in CompleteView's playback module. The design of the export queue lets you export video with just a few clicks. CompleteView can export individual video clips, multiple video clips, or even session files containing clips from up to 16 cameras, along with custom incident information, and even plays back in chronological order. So let's get started. The Complete View Export Queue can be accessed by selecting the Export Queue icon from Playback, Live View, Alarm View, or the Dashboard. Once in the Export Queue, you'll see it's divided into three main areas. The Export Queue, the Playback Window, and Export Settings. We'll start with the Export Queue. All of your video clips that have been added to the export queue are visible in the list. Each clip has columns that display the name, the camera the clip comes from, which server it's attached to, the start time, end time of the clip, the overall duration of the clip, any available descriptions, and the status of the clip, which shows pending right now. Once we export these, they will show exported. Selecting any clip will place it into the playback window, and you can edit the clip name, and you can also edit the clip description by just selecting the blank. Whatever name you enter for the clip will be saved as the AVI file when it's exported, and any descriptions that you enter are visible in the Complete View player when the video clip is exported as part of an export session file. When you have a clip selected, you can choose the play button to play the clip, or you can choose the remove button to remove a clip from the queue. And below the queue is a remove after export toggle. This is optional, but turning it on automatically removes clips from the queue once you've completed export. Leaving it disabled means you'll have to remove the clips after exporting manually. Over in the playback window, we still have digital PTZ functionality in the export queue. Clicking on the window will turn your cursor into a crosshair. Rolling your middle mouse button in and out will zoom in and out. And you can still click to center your view on the crosshair. At the bottom of the playback window, you'll see the playback controls that include the speed settings, seek to the beginning, step back, play and stop, step forward, seek to the end. And on the bottom right, you have the ability to take snapshots, save as a bitmap, JPEG, enter in an optional title and notes, and print a hard copy. And while we can't add video from the export queue to the export queue, we can still trim the video that has been added. Selecting the trim video icon will give you the two sliders at either end of your timeline and allow you to trim this video and capture only what you want. The final section is export settings where we'll go through all the steps of doing a single clip export, a multiple clip export, and exporting a session file. To start a single clip export, select any one of the clips from your queue. And in the export settings, you'll set your destination choosing either drive or CD DVD. I'm gonna select drive. And then come to the export file path and you can use the folder here at the end, the icon, and that will open up a Windows Explorer that will let you browse for a folder. Here on my desktop, I've created an exports folder. I'm just going to select that, choose OK. And optionally, you can include the standalone video player. We do recommend doing that. Uh, the Complete View video player has the ability to validate video as being a true export from Complete View and not modified in any way. And optionally, you can also choose create a zip file, which will place the clip, the player, and anything else with it into a zip file for easy packaging. Once you've got this selected, go down to the bottom left and you'll see two export buttons. There's an export and export all. Uh, export will only export the clip or clips that you have selected. And obviously export all will export all the clips in your queue. 
I'm just going to select export. We'll wait till that's finished. My clip has been exported successfully and I have now exported a single video clip. All right, to do a multi-clip export, the process is the same. You just select more clips. To select multiple clips, you can hold your control key on the keyboard while clicking on selected clips and that will multi-select. You can also select one clip, hold your shift key and then select another clip in the list and it will select everything in between. And to make it even simpler, you can just hold your mouse, left click and drag up and down and that will allow you to select multiple clips. So here I have three clips selected. That's what I'm gonna go with. Go ahead and select your clips. And then we're gonna check our export settings. Now, a lot of times if you're using the same file, these settings won't change. Uh, I'm gonna stay with Drive. I'm gonna use the same export file path and I'm going to include my standalone player. If I wanna create a zip file, I can select that and it would zip the three clips I've selected along with the player into that zip file. And again, I can package that and send that anywhere. Once you've got your settings, it's a matter of coming down here, selecting export, and it will go through all three clips and export them to the file that I have specified or the folder I specified. And once everything is done, you'll see the status has changed to export it. And we've now did a multi-clip export. The last export we'll do is an export session. In an export session, multiple AVI files are grouped together with an ESF or session file. The session file allows you in the Complete View Player to play back up to 16 cameras simultaneously in chronological order of the clips and view the session file information, including title, description, incident time, and incident location. To do this type of export, go ahead and select the clips that you wanna to add to that from the queue. And then over in the export settings, you can still check your destination, the file path, we wanna include the player, but down below that, you'll place a check mark in the export session. Once you've done that, you must fill out a title, description, incident time, and incident location. Once you've entered in a title, description, incident date and time, and again, on this incident date and time, you can use the calendar. Uh, it's relatively easy to select and you can come in here and just, you can type in times if you want. And when you're ready, come over here and select export. And you'll see your progress down below and the progress on each individual clip as they go through. And that's all there is to doing exports. So we've done a single clip, multiple clip and a session file. All right, the last step in this segment is showing you how to clear or clean your export queue. Earlier in the video, I mentioned the remove after export toggle. If you've already turned this on, then any clips that you've already exported are immediately deleted from your queue. If you left it turned off like I did, then the clips remain in the queue after being exported. You can tell by their status indicator here where it says exported. To clean up the queue, Simply select the clips that you're done with, and then come up to the top of the list and select Remove. Go ahead and click Yes on the confirmation. And our exported clips are gone. We're left with two clips that are still pending on export. 
And that wraps up using the export queue in playback. The last video that's coming in our end user training for playback covers the use of the Complete View video player. The Complete View video player allows you to view your exported clips and session files and even verify that the exported video from Complete View has not been modified. If you found this video helpful, follow us for more user training videos. And if you have comments on our videos, send an email to training at salientsys.com. Thanks for watching.